Chelsea. I know how to find Tell Mal me. There is only one person who knows how to find Mal. Adria. You're not going anywhere without me. Why? Someone has to make sure you don't kill Adria before you find You can come if you want, but Adria... I have vanquished Urze and his Reapers, giving the people of Westmarch their city back. Lorath and I go to the Blood Marsh to find Adria. She knows how to locate Malthael. She will tell me, and then she will pay in blood for her betrayal. We hid the Black Soul Stone in the deepest part of the Nephilim ruins near here. I consider myself an expert on all matters concerning Bogits. The Bogit itself is a small, odd creature given to foraging and burrowing. Under normal circumstances, it fears you. But it can be incited to great violence when under the influence of magical objects. Rings in particular seem to excite them. This is the entrance to the tomb. But someone's collapsed it. Adria. It looks like we'll have to fight. What was that? Still recharge them. Ferocious, hulking beast with an exceedingly bad temper. Aided by packs of boggits, it will fight anything that crosses its path. Invariably, some of the boggits will die, but the survivors are rewarded with scraps left. I will not be late this time, Adria. Remember to get the information we need before you. Right. Well, that's not very reassuring. By all reason! Stones, but nothing happens when I approach it. Let me try. There are four. The first time I saw a witch, she burned. Father took me to the town square to see it. Look, he said, that is the face of evil. But she looked like any other woman, and burned like anything else. And Not the enough fury. Engulfed her. Her eyes found mine, and she laughed. Figure out which sigil is the correct one. This is not the passage I am looking for.
This could be the right passage, but I do not know for sure. My new assistant was the noisiest creature in the world, but that was before I discovered the shrieking terror. This bat-like monstrosity produces the most ear-splitting racket imaginable, and furthermore managed to make my assistant scream even louder. I think my headache will last for weeks now. <laughs> This is the passage I have been looking for. I have always wondered how much Adria relied on Diablo's power instead of her own, based on her brother, a magical very strong. These flesh gorges are raised from earth, stone, and demon blood, and they are driven to feast on humans so they may resemble us more closely. Let's hope they don't succeed. The flesh shaman was created from the blood of the witch Adria. Because of that, the shaman is able to use magic as she does, channeling the power of blood and fire. Luckily, Adria only has so much blood to shed, and not for much of it. Your flesh is weak. This is as far as you go. Catch up to me when it is done. Smile on me. You wince against my blows. Adria birthed these golems from the blood marsh. Their bodies were formed from the water and earth of the marsh itself, while the venom of the marsh creatures gave them life. Their very skin seems to burst with the poison. I can't. How tastes your fear? <laughs>
I grow stronger. You I need you against my blow. on me. will never suffer us to live. They cannot accept the fact that we may choose our own path. At least demons are not so rigid in their beliefs.
Radia. what I can to ensure it. He always finds a way. In your heart of hearts, you know this. Before she died, Adria conjured an She was searching for Malthael. I need to go back. Now we know. No doubt he has gone. Now they are okay. He is a coward. The only way to... 